we are excited. We have a virtual workshop coming up with George McEwen, A Well-Crafted Lie. And it helps that he has won six golden shovels. Now, some of you already know the significance of six golden shovels. And George worked really hard on that. And crazy enough, he's willing to share his secrets. That in of itself feels like a lie. Is this a lie, George? Are you really going to teach us on, uh, let's see, what day would it be on Saturday, August 7, 2021? Well, I'll tell you some secrets, but yeah, you're going to have to tell for yourself at the end of the class whether you can figure out if it was a lie or not. Ah, yes, of course, we'll have to test it ourselves. And with that, uh, we already know that you won six golden shovels, but tell us a little bit more about your background beyond the shovels and, and uh, whatever you're inspired to share. Well, I can tell you that the winning of the golden shovels has been a huge achievement in my life. I always wanted to have something unique that I could hang on the wall in my office. And so it is a great conversation when I, people come into my office, they say, you really like gardening. Go, oh, no, 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 no. Let me tell you what that really is. And funny enough, as, uh, as I progressed through that, I ended up going into uh, local politics. So it's fun to be known as Utah's biggest liar. So when people looks at me and says, you're lying, I go, I know. And it's, it's been great. And from my background, I have been doing professional speaking at conferences for years, mostly on boring IT related topics. So storytelling has been of a help to me to allow people to get engaged and enjoy what they're listening to because the topics can be really dry, but if you can have little red writing of the IT uh, professional, you can do amazing things. And why is it important to even know how to lie? The craft is actually harder than you think because telling a good lie that people are willing to accept as part of a storyline and enjoy, it actually takes a little bit of finesse and you have to be able to take the audience along with you for the ride. You can't just start out with a lie. When the little kid has the smudge of chocolate on his face and he says, I didn't eat it, you're like, I don't believe you for a moment. But if he says, the bear knocked me over, push that chocolate into my face, you're like, okay, you still lied to me, but I like the story much better. I, I love that. I wonder if all of us have that in our repertoire already that we can uh, count on. I think so. I think inside everyone, there's a big liar waiting to get out. Oh, yes. Though I always like to say that all stories are true. Some stories are more true than others. And maybe that's what happens with these liar's tales. Who knows? But we all want to learn those secrets. We are excited. This is coming up, everybody, on Saturday, August 7th, 2021. And that is 9 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. Mountain Time. But don't worry. You can see that web address down there, storycrossroads.org slash all things story. And there is a time zone converter, so it doesn't matter where in the world you are, you can join us. And even if there's a schedule conflict, there's still a way to join us as well. So make sure you check it out until we tell again. <music>